So with so much experience returning, what what how do you who, what position battles are even up for grabs? What what do you go into this the next month trying to figure out about your secondary? Yeah, like you said, uh, we we have a lot of guys coming back, but but there's there's always room for competition. Yeah. So obviously, we, the, the, the three safeties we have coming back has played a lot of ball, and you know, Akeem, Shaheem, and uh, Kevin Knowles is going to get some some run at safety. And then we look at the corners. We look at the corners. You know, we have Ronaldo, we have Jerion, Fentrell, uh, Greedy, and Az. You know, those, those guys. You know, it gives you eight guys. You know, potentially that that can you know man the secondary and a bunch of those guys have position versatility so you know we can mix and match match when we need to and then with the younger guys coming in we just want to develop that because you know it's we all know it's 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 not a sprint it's a marathon right you know it's a war of attrition so the, the more guys we have you know ready ready to play you know next man up mentality then the better for us and with, with corners like i heard you talking earlier you renardo obviously is pretty he's he's he was really good last year at that one position the other uh, boundary corner or field corner, whichever one that mm -hmm. is, you, I'm sure that's up for grabs. Yep. And then the the nickel spot though is kind of just another cornerback, right? Is that how Absolutely. you is that how you view that? And so who's all? Uh, is it is it greedy? Is it Jerrion? Is it you know Az? Like who's all in the running for that spot? Like I said, with with the guys we got coming back and guys playing multiple positions, you know we can kind of you know can you mix, mix and match a little we bit? We can mix yeah. and match. So obviously greedy. Greedy, uh, J Dub, and and Kevin knows where we'll play inside that the nickel along with Edwin Joseph. You know the, the true freshman. We're trying to work him, you know, in there because he has the body size, he has the coverability to, to go inside and, and, and play that position. And uh, you know we we have we have depth. Yeah, we have depth, and and it, it's good as a DB coach where you know you can look at the sideline and. and Put a guy in on a, on a certain position and, and go do work. Would you cross train any of those guys at safety? But only, I only ask that because you have two guys that have played a good amount of football mm -hmm. and Shaheem and Akeem. But then after that, yeah, it's a lot of guys that haven't played. They, they're probably very talented, but they haven't played a lot of. Football. Well, Kevin Noah is going to play a little safety. Okay. He's going to play a little safety, a little nickel. So okay. he gives us a veteran guy, a guy who's who's made plays in his league, and uh, a guy who's who knows the defense and we feel comfortable. We're, we're putting them back there. So. And then one of the younger guys is going to have to step up. Obviously, K.J. Kirkland, he's been here, you know, since January. So he, he knows the defense. And he was having a pretty good spring before he got hurt. And now we need the, the younger guys, uh, Ashland and uh, Conrad Hussey, you know, to, to step their game up. And I think they'll do that in training camp. How excited are you to see them? Because, again, we, we just talked about it. you got a lot of older guys that right. we, we know what they can do. To see these younger guys come in and how they adapt to being in a room with so many older guys and how they adapt to being on a field with so many older guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how they develop. Uh, you know, you, you never know until, until you get on the field and, and put those pads on, how those guys are going to react. Obviously, Ashland coming from junior college, uh, Conrad coming from high school. You know, we, we need those guys to to, to learn the defense and, and quickly develop because, you know, injuries happen in football. So the more guys you can have up and ready to go, you know, the Bears are going to be for our secondary. Can you teach playmaking as a cornerback? Like you, the, the main goal of a cornerback, I've always thought, is to keep plays from being made. Mm -hmm. But then you were a playmaker. You went and made plays as a corner. T. Buck, that was here for you know yep. forever ago, made plays as a corner. Can you teach that for a secondary? They didn't have a ton of interceptions last year. How do you instill something like that, or is that more of just chance than anything else? As far as I, I, I think you can. Uh, it's it's just a knack of of looking back and finding the ball. You know, I saw you know times last year you know guys won one getting their head back in position you know to find the ball so obviously that that's things that that we worked on and and throughout the spring i think we've done a better job of taking the ball away also you know just the the situation of, of getting the eyes back on the quarterback you know playing with zone eyes you know we got some calls in this year where you know we, we're going to allow our guys to do that and i think and then, and then it comes to film study you know what guys like to do out of certain formations you know, it allows you to make plays. So, you know, you you take into account all those things and, and the guys that we have coming back, the experience that we have coming back, I expect our turnover rate to, to spike this year. Is some of it a mindset? Like, can you be born? Like, you you feel like you were one of those guys that was just born with, that's my ball, I'm going to go get that. It, can that be instilled, or is that a mindset that you're born with? I think, I think it can be instilled. Like I said, it, obviously it comes down to, 
to seeing it, seeing it better, uh, getting a break on it, and just getting your head around it. You know, in this league, you're going to get back shoulders. You're going to get the go balls. So, you know, sometimes you have to play through the hands. But other times, you know, you can you can get your head back around for the ball. And, and just the guys understanding the nuances of the defense. I know they're out there. They think we have man, man, man. But it, it's 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 a, a, a match defense. So them just knowing that, I think, is going to allow them to make, make more plays.